all kind of grew up in the church, at least to some extent, um, from, a, from a fairly young age. And so when that happens, you kind of deal with the religion and the, and the, uh, the rules of everything. And, um, and then as you get older, you have to find your faith for yourself. And you have to make it real, make it personal. <laughs> The big thing for us, as far as like letting our faith shine through in our Christianity, because um, we kind of straddle the line as far as playing, you know, we'll play church one day and then a bar the next day. Um, but we feel like that's where we belong because we feel like we can relate to we can relate to those people in the church, but we can also relate to those people in the bar because we have a wide group of friends. But they also need to hear a message. So I think at the end of the day, we just want to be as real as we possibly can um, about our struggles, about our triumphs, about everything in our lyrics. So I think that's what we really strive to do. Um, we definitely don't strive to offend anyone, uh, but we just want to be real and we want our lyrics to, and, and our songs and our music and the presentation uh, to really challenge people and to make them think in a different way about the same thing that they've heard over and over. We started with the idea, you know, we never, from the beginning, never decided to be a, a Christian band or to be a band that was going to not associate itself with Christians. We just decided that we were going to play the best music we could. We were going to write songs that we thought were the best possible songs. And I think the idea is, you know, we were given certain gifts, uh, gifts to write music and to play it. And it's like, it's our job to make the best music with that. And as far as the morality of the music, you know, the idea is that if we just express ourselves and we have, you know, a real connection with Jesus, that things we express will be, you know, Him. Yeah.